October 3rd, uh, 8th. We had three executive meetings, July, August, and September, at which times we set down the procedures and the policies and uh, the iffy questions of how we're going to conduct the convention. I know we're pretty loose today, but we're getting a lot of uh, headway towards being a very viable, exciting party and contestant in the election. We decided that uh, members could vote for the executive and for any uh, decisions at the convention. And that membership would be um, valid as of August the 13th. People had at least two or three notices before that time to renew or to take out new memberships. As of today, uh, the announcement is that we have 31 members that could have been voting today, but 11 of those members are here today. Those members who are qualified to vote and to nominate for the important elections we're going to have, have a green card. So um, they are able to nominate people for positions and um, to vote for, for positions. Um, if there's anybody in the audience who is not um, already declared as wanting to be a member on the executive, they can say, I'm not a voter, but I'd like to be nominated, and if somebody with a green card wants to nominate them, then that would be okay. Point of order? Yes, sir. Uh, I did not get a green card, and according to the party constitution, I should have. I see. Uh, which part in the constitution do you show that you have a voting Right. I'm referring to uh, Part 4, Proceedings at General Meetings, Section 22.1. A member in good standing, present at a meeting of members, is entitled to one vote. Okay, now I have had legal uh, interpretation of our bylaws and our Constitution, and I will refer you to Part 2, Membership. Part 2, Membership. Section 4 of Part 2, Membership. A person may apply to be to the directors for membership in the party, and on acceptance by the directors shall be a member. Yes, my membership was accepted actually by the party vice president, and my membership fee was accepted. That is true. The, the fee was accepted, but the membership was not necessarily accepted because the old executive has not met on that um, membership application. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for anybody else that took out membership today. Your memberships will be looked at at the next executive meeting, which is to be held when it is called or maybe the second Sunday in November. Uh, excuse me, but if my membership form is accepted by the Vice President and my payment for membership is accepted by the Vice President, why would I not be considered a member in good standing? Um, I think this is very clear that uh, the, the directors accept the membership board. applications. The board, has to the board that has to approve that. Now, what I'm going to suggest is, is, is in regards to this challenge is that here is a prime example of where our Constitution does need review. And Dave Sharkey and Keith Komar are already on that committee. Uh, they <laughs> offered to volunteer to be a Constitution Review Committee. And I would say that um, either you agree with me totally that this be referred and deferred to the new executive, or if necessary, we would have to take a vote on the floor. So my uh, position is that this question of membership application and approval and the Constitution be referred to the new executive. Could we have a vote on the floor? Okay. I second that. Okay. Second that. Who's seconding? Fine. Thank you. Second. Okay. Um, all in favor of um, the, the chairman of the nomination committee's position to defer to the new executive. All in favor of my position, my referral. 
is, I'm not clear what you're saying, what the vote is on. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I, this is pretty loose. Sorry, Sorry I just have another question. We're, we're voting on this, but do the people that their vote is in question get to vote on this? <laughs> I, I believe, I believe the Constitution is clear. We should, yes. Absolutely. But not yet. <laughs> as, as it stands right now, the way, the way it's being interpreted, they are not members in good standing as of this meeting. So we are motioning to okay. to change that. I, I think at this point, but, there's people here who have been members in the past that we would like to. But Section 422.1 says we are members in good standing, and we can vote. And I agree but with she's that. Saying so but she's saying, saying that they're not, so we have to vote to vote. Okay. Question. Question. Yes, sir. Is a majority of the members or directors here right now, or is there enough directors here to have a quorum and, and decide on the people who just applied today whether they can be members in good standing or not? I don't like you and Paul are here, yeah. uh, and, and, and John is here, so and Lewis and Jeff are here, so you've got a majority of directors. You can decide right now, as, a, as an executive, to accept the new members uh, who applied today and signed up to uh, as members in good standing. So you have that option. You have the ability to accept these members as members of good standing right now. Here, here. That may be true. Uh, we have a lawyer here. Uh, I, as chair of this proceedings at the moment, hold that I still have made that uh, proposal that we defer the question of membership and the question raised by Ken to the new executive which is yet to be elected. And I would like to have that support. If not, I could only say that we who are organizing the convention had no um, provision for having an extraordinary special meeting as you suggest, Marco. Okay, well, I'm, su I'm suggesting that there's probably more people here who, uh, uh, who were just signed up at the door uh, as members than there are who were who meet the core requirements as you're stating them. So I, I'm suggesting that it would be a good idea for the five executive members who are here to just go at the door and say, shall we accept them or not accept them? It'll take two minutes and then come back with a decision. I, I would I would agree with that. that would be, I will accept that decision. That would be uh, a second uh, idea. Yes, Keith? I think just in the, in the fact of inclusion, I have a, a lot of new people here who are very excited about where we're going and want to be very active. I personally think that by excluding them at this point, you're, you're, you're showing a, a, a dark face. And, and, and if you don't accept them at, on the decision, I think that's a wonderful idea. But I think they're, they're, you have the opportunity now to go and meet. You have the board here. You have that chance to, to be open and make that decision. Whether you accept them or not, I would stand by that, but I think in, in the sake of democracy and the way we, we do things, it's really good to, to be able to have that debate right now on the floor and, and, and give a chance to these new members who uh, show them how this works, because a lot of these people don't understand coming here and not having that opportunity. So I think it's, it's a really good chance for you guys to... Well, okay, just for clarification, the history in British Columbia is that many votes here have been uh, held and, and, and overturned and manipulated by busloads coming in and their membership spade at the door and then an overwhelming uh, capture of a Understood. event. And that's the reason why there is safeguards. Of course. So, Keith, what are you speaking to? Are you speaking to my deferral or to Marco's extraordinary oh, meeting? I think it's... Uh, the I, I, I really like his idea of the extraordinary meeting. I think the deferral at this point is, it, it, it's not in bad faith. Yeah, I think it, it, it doesn't show a good, a good faith moving forward. A lot of members here that are, that are here today are members who have let their membership pass for whatever reason, and they, they've come back to the party now as an interested party who's done something in the past and they, they want to participate in the party. And I think holding their, with, personally withdrawing their vote is, is against what we're doing here, but again, I understand your concern to me completely, and that's why I think it's a meeting of the board. I think the five of you who are here should have that discussion between yourselves and, and see if you see which way you want to go on it. I, I personally see it the other way, but I'm new. I'm new to the political game. I'm new to the party, so I under, 
I understand on both sides. I, I'm sitting on one, but I really don't have that the, that power. But I think you guys should be able to sit down. already agree with this. It's not really reasonable for somebody to do who's never been a member of the party. Now, there are old members, like Ken Wade was a former leader. 25 years. Party. Uh, but they've never, we've never seen them before, and they're voting on very fundamental issues of who's going to lead the party, etc. And we have no way of knowing exactly are they consistent libertarians, or whatever, because we've never met them before. So we put this in the, the people who are signing up for this con convention needed to sign up by a certain date. And therefore, the one there are people, lots of people who we didn't expect came right here. So the question is, we set, we set this. You need to have your membership in by August the 13th. And, and that's understood. Can I make a point here? Three things. One, I never got any notice of this membership because I, I wasn't a member. Been. I was not a member. Right. Two, I have applied for a membership many times in the past and my membership application disappears. I never get any response. And three, I have been a long time member and supporter of this party despite some differences with some people on the executive. And I, I think it's reasonable that the people who've shown up, showed up here today, have an interest in the party, are concerned about our liberty and, and the, the, the well-being of this party, should be able to vote and have a say in the future of the party. I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think there's very many of us. I'm actually. sorry, your membership has been denied. Well, it hasn't been. Okay, but Walter. You get to choose. Well, never heard, never heard. Okay, I have Walter and then Josh. Walter, I think you should rule this out of order and just proceed. I agree with you that we shouldn't allow new people to vote until they've been vetted. And I uh, share your fear of being inundated by busloads, well, carloads <laughs> of people. And I think I'm supposed to be speaking at 2 o'clock. And I don't think it's going to along. Yes. Can we see how many of such people are here? Quickly? Well, the, no, no. There's okay. a lot of new mm -hmm. people, and we're so happy that they're here joining and so on. Uh, and I think Walter has clarified that what I am proposing is I want acceptance of my ruling, which is that this is out of order and should be referred to the new executive. Hey, Josh? So I'm looking at the Libertarian Party website right now, and nowhere on here does it say that membership must be by this date. I'm also looking at the Libertarian Party event on Facebook, and again, there's no no discussion about the date this was created. I don't know when it was created, but there's no dis there's no no idea in here that there's a deadline for this this date. And all of these people have come from all over BC to come here. We were invested. Does anybody honestly? Does anybody really suspect that there's carloads of interlopers here that were not libertarians? I think we may not all know each other, but I bet you everybody here can vouch for one or two people that are libertarian and that this would be a bad first step for new members and to promote the growth of the party and the promotion of the party when all these people came. I came from Victoria, other people came from Cranbrook and to deny them a vote when there, there was no notice on the Libertarian Party, it says right here that it's October 8th, um, but it doesn't say that you must be a member to vote. There is no mention on the Facebook page, and so I don't want to say that it is an arbitrary decision, but there's no notice okay. about this, this well, date. Well, if we're talking about a paper record, when we're going to be talking about uh, email record. There are two email records at least, whereby the notice to all the people on our mailing list have gone out uh, in July and in August that they uh, would be voters at the date of August 13th or before. So there is that record which can be drawn up. Yes, Clayton? I'm just uh, wary of the time to get. Um, I would support Marco's idea of the board uh, taking a few minutes to do a quick meeting to decide uh, whether the board wants to accept the new members. I think that's very strange. That means that the whole place could be voting on our new executive, whereas our old executive had made the decision that only authorized people would be voting for. Uh, it's just a matter of integrity I, I of, and belief in the party, whether it has its any credentials. Well, the board, the board can decide about that, so the board already has decided. 
Senate. Well, we didn't get to vote. I'm in favor of doing the, the vote right now. Get it over with. And, just and to vote and to say people are regular members who joined today, whereas this yeah. article says that they will be accepted uh, by the directors. Yes, please. I'm okay. I don't think so there's any Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's get the directors to see whether they're going to accept these new members or yeah. not. Simple. And then just go with that decision. Simple. Uh, I, mean, yes. it's, yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's any interlopers here. Nobody... I think that everybody here is invested in the party. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to get in. 40 minutes longer. We'll make sure it's better. I want to hear Walter speak. Okay. I think interlopers are irrelevant. You have to go by the rules. The rules have been set up, and I think you should just move along. Does Kelly have any ideas? Kelly's our lawyer-in-chief. Well, I think it's open to the board to go out and have this meeting if they want to do that. If you guys agree, or at least in a majority agree that you're going to have this meeting, there's nothing extraordinary about it, and the bylaws would support that meeting. Technically, there is a motion on the floor that you've made. Uh, that's my motion. Um, but there's also, I assume, another motion that might be made by Marco. Um, so well, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not a voting member, or to okay. current rules. Uh, I just signed up but today. It's a suggestion so that's... it's not a motion, it's a suggestion. Okay. Um, okay. A um, Make a motion. <laughs> Why don't you board members vote right now as to whether to have a board meeting? Yeah, there you go. So we're to have a, either a vote here or a vote outside. Yeah. Just do it. Vote right here, just the five uh, members of the board to Should see if you want to have a meeting. Yeah. 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 But you have wherever you like. Okay, my suggestion personally, because of experience for 25 years also on this. Uh, party is that um, we have made decisions and I'm a member of the old board and so are the rest of the people here and that my recommendation is that this idea of instant membership is out of order and I would like to see the green cards vote yes or no so I would solicit I your vote to vote for my ruling of out of order. One, two, three. Well, this is a, a vote on whether or not to have a vote. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, a, a vote on whether you support my ruling that it's out of order and it's to be deferred to the new executive. Okay. Referred to the new executive, okay. a decision of this nature. You're, you're not the board of directors now, are you? He's got a card. No, no, no. It's not on the board of directors. No, this is a general vote. This is a general vote of the voters. Oh, okay. That she's calling. So you the want to voters, defer this the to the next board of directors? Voters, green card, green card, green card. No, don't do that. There's three of us, and who else? Okay, Why are you doing that? You the other side to everyone. There's three or four. There's the 11 voters. Hold them up high, please. Well, I want to speak to this. Do you have a green card? Are you? I'm supposed to have a. You're not a member. There's my green card. Paul doesn't have a green card. Who's voting? Paul green card. The board. The board. The board. All all these green cards are voting. Is it six? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Green card. Six out of eleven is um, the majority. Passed. So I have ruled that it's out of order, and been accorded so. So we're going to go forward with elections. We have the BCLP party meeting today, and there are several contenders for leadership. Um, Clayton is offering to be a leader, and will we have a nominee nominate a Clayton for leadership? I'll nominate him. John? Yeah. Okay, can you make a record of this? Sure. I'll give it to you. Um, Josh is also here and he's interested in becoming leader as well. You need a seconder on. I'll, I'll second Clayton. Okay. Second. Uh, where's Walter's green card, by the way? I'm sorry, my friend. Give him a while. The green cards. Is, is there someone taking minutes? I'm taking yeah. minutes. Is there a John taking, taking minutes? Okay, good. Okay, Josh. I want my membership application to disappear uh, again and my five dollars. I will make sure that it does not. Josh. Jeff. Okay. Okay. Is there a seconder? Okay. Is there a third person to be nominated to leader the party? Any more nominations for leadership? 
any more nominations, okay? Um, Kelly, you're going to have to give out the uh, ballots to people with green cards. There are 11 green cards. There's actually a 12. Uh, Hold up your green cards, please, so I can hand these out. Anybody here? So what about, what about me not being an instant member? I signed up before. I know, but you're, you're qualified to run. <laughs> Am I qualified to run? No. Any... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How, how come he wouldn't be qualified to run? Because they haven't accepted my membership yet. Then why is his? Oh, because he's accepted here. Okay. Uh,